Hello, welcome to Asian Petrol and welcome to our third owner's review. Today we have a Kia Sportage owner waiting for us. So why don't we just begin right now. And before we begin, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys and let's meet our owner. Hello, Cole. Cole. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice Thank to you meet so you. much uh, for taking your time at this, mm -hmm. you know, at this moment. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, um, thank you. And uh, would you like to say hello to our audience? Sure. Let's my name is uh, Cole. Mm -hmm. I'm from Denmark, Denmark, and I'm about 50 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. And I've came to Korea like four years ago. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And. Uh, Enjoy it very much. Wow. Yeah. Didn't expect to uh, meet a Danish, you know, people no. here in Korea. <laughs> not many Danish people in Korea, mm, yeah. I can tell you. Well, generally not many Danish people at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. It's a very small country. So, so yeah. yeah. Glad. And uh, would you like to uh, tell us a little bit about your Kia Sportage? Yeah. Lovely car. Yeah. Well, I've enjoyed it very much. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. And I think, well, basically, you can say really good value for your money. Mm. You know, I've been really happy with it. So how long yeah. did you have this car? I've had it for nearly two years. Two years. Yeah. You have um, about 30,000 30, kilometers. 30,000, just past 30,000. Uh -huh. Yeah. Silver looks really nice. Mm. Oh. And this is a facelift model, which is called yeah. uh, Bulb, mm. Sportage Bulb. So. Very, very nice. Uh, look forward to uh, talking about the car throughout the day. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Let's go okay. for a drive. Yeah. So, Cole, how did you uh, end up getting the uh, Kia Sportage, the Bulb? Uh, mm. Well, actually, it was a, a friend of mine's friend who's a Kia dealer. Ah. Oh. So, they sort of, you know, talked, yeah, you should buy and you can get you a good deal and all that. And I thought, mm. why not? You know, I, I actually, for a long time, many years actually, I've, I've been sort of spotting the Kia Sportage mm. uh, as a kind of a cool middle-sized SUV. It's quite popular in uh, Europe too. It is, actually. Right, right, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, we I, I had a quick look at it mm -hmm. and I thought, yeah, this new model, the facelift, and mm. it looks really nice and cool. And, yeah. and then I said, okay, let's do it. And mm. actually, a few days later, he called me back. Mm. He got one. Mm. If I want it, it's like this and this and with this options and all mm. that. And I just said, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Mm. Good. I'll try it. Okay. And it turned out to be really good. Actually. Mm. Yeah. Good choice. Did you like uh, take a look at any other cars or it was just Sportage to begin with? Not really. Not really, right? <laughs> it's never <laughs> it's that way. Like, <laughs> just wanted a new car. <laughs> like, and he had this one and I didn't have to wait for it. And mm. yeah, two years ago, I probably would have had to wait for about six months mm. before I could get it. So. And then because I saw you, uh, you're very, very tall. And you mm. also mentioned about the phone through the phone interview that, uh, you know, some cars you don't just don't fit exactly yeah yeah right? yeah, yeah, yeah me yeah, too but yeah. <laughs> actually I, I you know i can sit in the car just for a couple of minutes and in the showroom in the showroom i don't right. have to test drive it just sitting in it i <laughs> can like, tell you right away if it's for me or not it's like okay this. yeah <laughs> and it's, it's usually around the knees you know ah. clashing up against the side you know it's like ah. and you know after sitting like that for half an hour it will start hurting right right <laughs> and become really annoying so i'm just not going there so is that yeah. why you're not into sedans um well some sedans actually ah um, the larger ones larger ones yeah mm. yeah it's okay, okay. yeah 
All right. I mean, you know, I'm kind of stuck with uh, SUVs too. Once you mm. go, you know, go with SUVs, it's really hard to go back because there's so much interior space yeah. and trunk space and all. That is true. So. And I enjoy actually the thing that you just, just slightly above the right. other cars so you right. can actually look over them, uh. which is very nice. Yeah, okay. so the trunk, you can fold the seats and oh, just yeah. load everything. You yeah, know. Yeah. With, a, with a sedan, you just can't do it. That is true. So, yeah. very nice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, Cole, what did you drive before uh, driving Kia Sportage? Wow. Well, I've, um, I've always been a big fan of Citroën. Citroën. You know, the French. Yeah cars because uh, we have it here in Korea too yeah yeah <laughs> um, and actually I've, I've had most of them mm. like AX BX CX mm. which was the most funniest one of them all and then the Sangchia uh -huh. and latest one the, the C5 oh, C5 yeah and uh, the C5 I, w I was really really happy with that one actually oh, we wow. were really good friends for a long time oh. yeah that and was before like a, it became an SUV right yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The, the, the sedan model oh. or hatchback or whatever right, you call right. it. Yeah. But you don't have that model actually in Korea. No, not yeah. here, yeah. No. But in Europe, it's very popular. Mm. But yeah, I enjoy that. And then I've had uh, a couple of BMWs, mm. the 520 and the X5. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So you you mentioned you drove the C5 for a long, long time, put lots oh, of yeah. miles on it. Yeah, actually. When I sold it, uh -huh. I sold it just before I left for Korea, actually, because oh. uh, I couldn't import it to Korea, so yeah. I had to sell it. Uh -huh. And uh, when I sold it, it had done about 450,000 kilometers. Wow. No that's, problems that's at all. Lots you know. of mileage. And still going strong. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Okay, uh, why don't we uh, also talk about the interior, interior of the... Uh, Kia Sportage. How, how yeah. do you like it? I like it very much, actually. Oh. I, I think they they found a really good balance of you know of usefulness, yeah. you know, practicality, and also it's it's really kind of comfort to yeah. touch. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. Uh, Amber it's, it's Amber uh, Alert. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we get them all the time here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, every day. Yeah, day. it's crazy. So. Yeah. It seems like you know they cover it with lots of soft touching materials, but yeah, this yeah. is actually faux. But yeah, yeah. they made it. But it, like it a looks stitching. good. It looks and, good. And, and it looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. It's got and not too much. You know, yeah. they're not overdoing it. Like yeah. lovely gauge so, cluster and yeah. infotainment screen looks great. Yeah. The only thing I've sort of sometimes ah. is this uh, high gloss on the steering wheel. High gloss material. Yeah. I think that sometimes when the sun is in the right. Oh man. It, oh yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> right in your eyes so oh, but other than that I, I think it looks really cool yeah. mm. so really nice uh, matching yeah. colors everywhere absolutely some plastic on on the bottom but you yeah know, but it's, it, it's it, understandable yeah, yeah 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 so and you also mentioned that, that about uh, adaptive cruise control you have a uh, lane keep assist but I no have lane keep assist and ordinary cruise control uh, it's ordinary yeah it's and working when I found out about the you know a couple of years ago I heard about the adaptive cruise mm. control I'm just ah oh, man, <laughs> <laughs> darn it! Because I'm, I'm really, mine? I'm really addicted to cruise control. I, I'm just, mm. I use it all the time. And, yeah, you know, I mean, it's just a habit, basically. Right. But it, with it the works. adaptive, it would just change it so much. You know, it works so it works. so nicely in uh, city yeah. traffic too. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah. So is that why you you said uh, you're kind of looking forward to maybe changing your car? Actually. Actually, <laughs> just yesterday. <laughs> just yesterday, I ordered the new K5. Oh, Optima! Optima. Yeah. Oh wow! Congratulations. Full options. Full options. And with everything. With the adaptive cruise and control. And adaptive cruise control, definitely. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, new Optima. I test drove. Uh, you know, three models. Yeah. Uh, with a hybrid, two liter, and a 1.6 liter turbo. Yeah. What did you get with? I got the 1.6 turbo. Yes. Simply, you know, because I, I test drove it, and you know. It's really powerful. Yeah, it's got surprisingly of powerful right. for 1.6 liter. Yeah. Um, yeah. And of course, even though it's very powerful, it's still very efficient. Efficient, and, yeah. And you get good fuel economy out of it. It's actually better than the base two liter gasoline engine. So, I think so. what can you ask more? Yeah, more. absolutely. Yeah. So, 
That's very nice. Uh, we'll talk about uh, features a little bit more yeah. uh, soon. So sure. Very nice. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do uh, owner's review again when yeah, you yeah. get the new car. Okay? When I get the new one. Yeah. yeah. I'll do drive thirty thousand and drive then it pretty, you know, for yeah. long some time and then <laughs> yeah. still let us know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Cole, how do you like the uh, navigation and infotainment screen of the uh, Kia Sportage? Actually, I like it very much. It's very nice. um, responsive. Yeah, very quick. Very easy to, you oh. know, when you want, you don't have to wait for it to, you know, when you press something and immediately it's just, so that's very nice. Uh -huh. um, I think, actually, one thing is, like, I'm having trouble when I, when I sort of, uh, if I want to find an address from my uh, address book, yeah, then I, I don't quite get the menu of how to, you know, I, every time, because you don't use it that often, that obviously. Right. But when I need it, mm. I every time I just have to look around and press all sorts of things before I actually find the actual you mean like address this? book. Yeah, this is where I would normally go if uh, I need to find an address, uh -huh. but. It's not here. <laughs> it's oh. a different menu you have to get into, and it's like, ah, uh, what? So and you basically, you, when you're in the map, you can't do it from here. You actually have to exit the map, go home, and then you have to go into all menus, da da da, and you have to, yeah, it's really. Or sometimes you you, you can just go navigate. on navigation. Yeah, that's another uh, shortcut, I guess. Uh, yeah, address book here. Yeah. Address book, and there you are. Yeah. It's sometimes I know it's sometimes hard to uh, it's okay to save it but it's hard to pull it out. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, because to to sometimes you want to pull out an address while you're driving or you know you shouldn't do that. Of course, don't right. do that at home. But, but you have this home and office and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Few. Then you can put in a yeah. different things. Yeah. But I mean, I'm kind of used to just I think one cool feature is like um, when I look for an address, mm -hmm. I basically um, I just use the map. I never, you know, because the Korean addresses are hard really to, difficult yeah. to, to yeah. spell. <laughs> but <I don't> <laughs> for me, anyway. Mm -hmm. So I just use the How map. Do you do it? And I, I made this button so you can use it as oh, a zoom yeah, button. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's really easy to, you know, just move the map. Don't, and go, because don't the, go to north, yeah. The screen is really <laughs> responsive. So it's, it's, yeah, ah. it works really well for me, anyway. So and then you just uh, set it set as destination. destination. Point it in and set the destination, and there you go. That's very nice. Yeah. So that, that's usually the way I do it. Anyway. Mm. And you know, you also mentioned that the Kia usually gives a free updates. Uh, you know, you can do it at home. So you right. like that? Yeah, that was, I mean, first time I had to update the, the map, mm. I was so surprised that, first of all, it's for free. Yeah. You can do it all the time. You just you take want, this uh, take out SD the card? SD card and put it in your computer, mm. homepage, download, that's it. Uh, when and you, it, when it, you, it, you get your Optima, new mm. Optima, it does it over the, Ah, with the uh, over the SD internet, card. I mean, yeah, I mean yeah, the uh, it has a SIM card built in, basically. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it will just uh, download automatically. Uh, automatically yeah. over the air. I forgot the word over the air. Yeah, yeah. OTA. OTA. So uh -huh. It will be like this, and it will like ask you like, is there's a <coughs> uh, there's an map, update map uh, update? Would you yeah. like to do it? And then it just press uh, just like Tesla. So that's much easy again. Yeah. 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 So I remember with the when I had the BMW X5. Uh, <laughs> and you had to they buy were the like CDs. two I, DVDs, DVDs yeah. actually, you know, but they were too old, outdated. Uh, they were right. like three or five years old or something. And yeah, I wanted to you. buy a new one. <laughs> 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 when I saw the price of them, I was like, nah, uh -huh. I, I'm okay. I can, yeah. you know, I can but get I, a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how the recent BMWs do it. They probably no. do it a little bit better now. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it's it's a very nice system that Hyundai gives you absolutely. something that you can do it at home. It's yeah. very straightforward and, it's and for free. easy to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so I'm pretty positive about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. very nice. Okay, cool. So uh, tell us uh, visibility. We kind of talked uh, about it. Right. Visibility of the your Kia Sportage. Well, for me, with yeah. my size and eyes, it's yeah. just perfect. I mean, yeah. The, again, it's a SUV, so you're a bit above everything. Yeah. Um, the mirrors, the windows, everything Large is enough. just yeah. perfect. You know, there's nothing to say about it really. Um, 
So you seem to like the uh, kind of command view looking down at yeah. the cars. Exactly. Yeah. Very nice. And yeah. The beams usually the sometimes the beams are either too thick or too wide. Mm. But this one not is, bad. It's uh, the placement of them is, is good. Oh, and perfect. Nicely yeah. covered too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So we also mentioned about, uh, you kind of also told me about the adaptive cruise control, but yeah. you seem to have a heated steering wheel, heated uh, yeah. seats everywhere, yeah. and ventilation seats, three yeah. stage for the uh, for us, yeah. for the first row, and also heated seats at the back. In the back, um, yeah. So how do you like the uh, features of Korean cars, and driving aids too? Well, generally, I, I think the, the Korean cars, the Hyundai and the Kias, and yeah. That they all I, I, seriously, I think they're gaining a lot of territory because mm. I, I think the, these cars they have everything you need. Oh, no, I mean, cool. and and it it works. It works really well. Yeah. Right. And um, I mean, yeah, it's got everything you need. What so, else can you say? So yeah. when you when you get your um, you know Optima, mm -hmm. it will actually close the windows before entering yeah. the tunnel. Yeah. It will actually recirculate if you forget. Yeah. Before entering internal, it'll just automatically do that for yeah. you. Yeah. And also, what else? You can talk to the car, like you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell the car to put the address on you. Well, navigation and everything. Yeah. If you speak Korean, that is. <laughs> In Korean. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So oh. we got to be careful. Yeah. Some people just dropping nets. That was. Because it's probably windy. Too windy. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, um, it's got lots of features and you yep. can like uh, take it out the car if you find a really tight mm -hmm. spot. Right. With the remote, you can take it out. Yeah. Just pew, come out exactly. and you get it. Automatic and, you know, parking. So. Yeah. But, I'm, I'm uh, so looking forward to trying yeah, to yeah. <laughs> play with that. Yeah. I mean, the adaptive cruise control alone, yeah. I think it's uh, in heavy city traffic alone, I think it just pays for itself. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, definitely. Especially yeah. driving in, in around Seoul, right? Major city, you know, so much traffic sometimes, and yeah. you know, you just have to deal with you know traffic jams and all that. Yeah. This kind of adaptive cruise control, self-driving thing, I mean, it's just perfect for that situation. I mean, even it's yours so is the lane keep assist right now is mm. working very smoothly yeah. and seamlessly. Yeah, um, you know, I have the cruise control on. Yeah, I just won't, uh, you know, keep the safe distance, but. This is pretty comfortable too. Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> okay. it is, and yeah. I, I use it all the time. The, the, the cruise control and the lane keep, and you just you know you get used to it, right? And you know every minute or so you do, you have to you know jolt the, the steering wheel to let it know that you're still yeah. here. And you know it's just when you get used to it, it's so comfortable. So yeah. I, I always tell my friends uh, when they you know ask me you know should I get the uh, driving aids package? I mm -hmm. said. Yes, definitely. It will, yeah. you know, it's worth it. I think yeah. nowadays. Yeah. yeah so. Actually, I, I noticed that many of my friends, mm. even though their cars, you know, they one of my friends he has the big X five and all that, mm. but and it has all the features as well. Of they course, don't use but it. He never uses it, and, he, and I'm like, they well, never why know. Don't you, want to use <laughs> like, you know, they, they don't know even it exists, and so that's sad part. They, I don't know what, it, but they just don't want to use it. You know. It's like the, they don't quite trust it or yeah, something. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure, but I trust it perfectly yeah. and I enjoy it very much. So I guess That's it's true. kind of like a preference thing, I, I guess. Some yeah, people yeah. just don't yeah. like it. No, physically. but I mean, still, I think generally, I mean, this kind of level of, of equipment, yeah. um, Why not? you know, very it, it, it used to belong in, in a high-end right, right. luxury car, right. you know, but now it's, it's becoming available in a normal standard car. Mm and it works really well and yeah yeah i think I hyundai it. makes a leading um, you know driving aids and you know, like mm. you said this is a premium premium brand right kia and hyundai but mm. they got everything so they still which, which and they, i think nice. they're definitely gaining territory mm. yeah they're, they're, no doubt about it okay. so yeah so you don't have to pay, you know, extra twice money for no, 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 no. You get features it. and driving aids. I, I think that's a one competitive uh, thing for yeah. what Hyundai and Kia is. Uh, it's doing. a very good argument. It's yeah. usually the, the price of it. Right. You get that. Here you can actually get it yeah. for the you know normal price. You don't <laughs> right. have to get up right. to a luxury car brand to right. get these things. But yeah, very nice. I think it's a 
again, you get good value for your money, mm. basically. And I mean, 10 years ago, or maybe 15 years ago, um, you know, in Denmark anyway, the, the, the Kia and the Hyundai was sort of like, under the, uh, it was not, yeah, it was, they were cheap, but you know, it was like kind of a, Discount, <laughs> yeah. Huh? So, yeah. But I definitely. So you mentioned the, uh, you know, Renault. Hyundai yeah. was on the bottom. Kia, Renault, and uh, Citroen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, but uh, Citroen has always been like sort of a, uh, I don't know, the, the, the not high end car, but you know, mm. the, the Citroen, it's like the a French, French, French cars basically uh. were uh, kind of popular mm. cars. Was well, like a mainstream car, like a Hyundai, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kia, sure. Volkswagen, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So you can you can definitely talk about the uh, the Wuvo system. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, definitely one of the features that I I really enjoy mm. and I think it's really really cool is the the Uvo mm. system that you know I can actually wow. start the the car from my app on the phone. Uh huh. And you know preheat it and see yeah. I have Blue Link. You have the Blue Link. <laughs> yeah. Which is very, looks very similar. Yeah. It's probably the same system. They just it's call it pretty different. much the same system. And I they just love different it. Different name. It's just when you get used to it, you know, remember to, you know, start your car like 10 minutes before during right. winter time. Right. Oh, it's perfect. Right. And especially during Korean summers are so scalding hot. Mm. Yeah. And just, you know, ventilating the car before you. Right. Oh, it's perfect. You it's can also really, set it really like, uh, you know, it will actually shut off the car. It will oh, yeah. start the car to warm it up. Yeah. You can set the time, like after five minutes, it will shut it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And yeah. you can also hit the uh, heated and ventilation seats sure. as you wish. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can also preset the climate control. Yeah. Kind of thing. So I, I, I really enjoy that feature. And I think I, w I want to see more of this. Yeah. You know, I'd like to see more interactive sort of things in your car yeah. in the future. But at the same time, uh -huh. it's also one of my critics about the, the, the oh. because I'm thinking like a smart car company like Kia, Hyundai, uh -huh. come on, I can only get the app in Korean. <laughs> oh my God, really? I'm like, what? And it's, it's just like, I mean, I didn't notice because I'm Korean, the, but the app itself, it, it's like no so English? unsmart as it gets, oh, you know, gosh. and you know, come on, come on. Kia engineers, <laughs> come on. Why is it that I can only get it in Korean? At I least know in I'm English, in Korea, right? but you know, it, it, it should work in English as well. You know, yeah. it, it's like, I didn't, oh, I never knew. I was like, that's what? something. Come on, Kia. Yeah. So that, that's, that's one thing I'm kind of like, oh, other than that, yeah, I've, I've kind of gotten used to it that it's... So you kind of remember so which button is exactly. which. Exactly. Yeah. My wife told me, like, press this one and then that one, and I'm okay. <laughs> oh my, it's, I, I think it <laughs> shouldn't be a like, really that much, you know, trouble it's just for a, Kia. It's a, it's a soft, software issue. Yeah. You know, it should be pretty easy to yeah. fix anyway, but... We have lots of, uh, you know, owners here in Korea. Yeah. You know, so English, please, you know just have it at. and actually there's a lot of Koreans who, who wants to learn English yeah and that you know I told them that change your menu into English your mm. navigation da 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 and mm. they do it and they say actually it, it's so it helps that you know it helps yeah, yeah. so yeah come okay. on <laughs> come on <laughs> job. all right let's get it <laughs> <laughs> call your Kia Sportage has two liter diesel engine yep. which makes about 186 horsepower and 296 pound-feet of torque oh. powerful enough, enough for you definitely uh, I, I'm actually I'm, I was really first when I got it I was really surprised how powerful it actually is mm. you know I, I thought like two liter diesel yeah so so mm. but wow it, it really pushes you back in the seat doesn't it? Uh -huh. when you kick it and right it's like yeah um, and still the efficiency of it, I mean, the, the fuel efficiency is just perfect. I, I think I'm amazed how they can get it out of it. Like even for, on this trip, we've done what? You know, I saw five? you, you kind of uh, reset the uh, true tr computer. I yeah, saw yeah. it in the morning. I think it does that every time. Oh. You start. So this is for this trip only. And right? we are, we are it's saying we are returning 16 point kilometers per liter. Yeah. For this trip. Yeah. 16 and a half kilometers oh per liter. Oh my leader. goodness. That's Which really is excellent. pretty good for semi-heavy car. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's SUV. Kind of, yeah, compact SUV. Is, yeah. So, Big very nice. Yeah. Um, 
So how, what do you get like uh, average driving, uh, CT and uh, highway? Usually mm. what do you get? Like I, I think usually with the city, I actually if you pull it down, the, oh. that's the around 15, 14.9. Oh my God. On the last 120 kilometers. Wow, that's pretty nice. So, and that's basically city driving. Mm. Of course, it, it depends very much on you know the, the length of trips. If you only do short trips mm. for a week, it will show definitely. Wow. But if I take a longer drive, sort of like <laughs> Better. To Sokcho or Busan or something like that, I, I like to play with it. You know, sort of like you know challenge. You know, see how <laughs> how you can get it. And sometimes I can get it up to like twenty or nineteen kilometers. And you know, per because you have this. Um, Oh, you don't have that. The instant uh, fuel economy. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that was the f one. You, oh, this that one, one, this that's one. That's the okay. one. Okay, yeah, so one. you kind of see that and just play with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> so, it, you know, it, it's really simple. You know, basically, it's, it's just a matter of don't use the brake. Right, right. Once you you learn to not use the brake, that's the that's the, the best rest way. will follow. You know, it's right. very simple. <laughs> so, yeah. And because it's a diesel, how's the uh, vibration and uh, noise? Mm. Actually, again, I mean, obviously, when it's when it's not moving, just idling, uh, then the yeah, it, it's like what that. you would expect from a diesel. You can hear it ticking and dig, 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 there's uh, a bit of vibration. Right. But once it starts moving, like now, we, yeah. we're doing what 1400, 1400 RPM. Driving by 80, about 80, 80 right now. Yeah. You can't hear the engine. Uh, yeah. You can hear a bit of slow rumbling, but I don't feel you know, anything. And there's, it's really nice and quiet and mm. perfect. So in that sense, uh, it doesn't. You know, you kind of forget that it's a diesel car mm. when you're driving. When you're idling, yeah, you can hear the the mm. kicking. And, so yeah. you you mostly drive, uh, you know, highways. Is that, is mm. it no? I, I don't know what okay. I mostly drive, but okay. yeah. I think it's it's a good mix, mm. yeah. but I like to you know sometimes I actually I, I drive up here north, you know there's not much traffic and you know just having yeah. a, a good drive, uh, day trip. So, sort of so you, you but on the on a phone interview you said uh, you know Citron had a little bit better noise level. Ah, the, the C5. C5. The, the C5 was uh, that, I mean. It was a very, very comfortable car. Uh, it has the hydro, I mean, the, the, uh, the hydro active uh, suspension. Oh. So it, it's actually hydraulic suspension. Right. Which makes the, the drive very, very smooth. Uh -huh. it, I mean, it just smoothens the road completely. And at the same time, the engine, the whole thing was just very, very quiet. And so Kia yeah. still has a little bit, uh, you know, homework to do, I guess. Well, in that department, I mean, yeah. It, it's not overall, it feels. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But I, I was, I'm still surprised that you know it does as well as it does. Actually, mm. yeah. And still with the big 19-inch rims, right? And, you know, I mean, yeah. It's it supposed feels very to, comfortable and it quiet does. in here. Yeah. Kind of surprised myself too. Yeah. Because yeah. I usually uh, just get to drive um, press cars, which mm. you know, journalists kind of beat down every every oh, yeah. people because yeah, yeah, they have yeah. to test it out but exactly. so compared to uh, you know media test cars this you know actual owner car is very quiet and mm. smooth and yeah yeah it's a uh, you know yeah it's a very different experience yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're taking care of very good yeah of your I mean car. it is yeah this is to the north that's so. a north Korea so we better <laughs> turn around, better turn yeah. around. <laughs> yeah so yeah yeah let's do that but yeah, I mean, I mean, taking care of it, it mm. it's, for me, it, it's kind of, I mean, uh, I don't know, but a hobby. hobby. Yeah, sort of yeah, yeah. I mean, I really enjoy, like, I, I was cleaning the car yesterday because you were going to yeah. drive it today, and I thought, yeah. But actually, you know, spending an afternoon cleaning your car, you know, it's, a hobby. That, it's just a good afternoon for me. You yeah. know, it's just the time flies, and, you know, it's right. just nice. I like it. So. Yeah. And you know, again, it's like uh, yeah. the hobby of you know yeah. trying to clean it without actually touching it. Right. Know, I hate swirl marks. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, the, in the paint job. Yeah. It's like, so, I'm, you know, trying to make the best as you can. All right. Very nice. I mean, and uh, you also have an A speed automatic. Right. Um, yeah. How do you like it? I think that, well, I mean, eight speed, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a you lot. Know? And well, you, we it, used to say, you know, six is too much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but with the eight speed, yeah, it's really, really. That, I mean, that's the reason why you can get it down to fourteen hundred yeah, RPMs. I think so, which yeah. makes it so much more comfortable and mm. economical. I think, and, and it also many years makes it to shift smoother. Oh yeah, yeah. it doesn't yeah. have to go like bah! exactly the the, the yeah. RPM shifting is, right. is, is within a very more. small range. Right, right, and yeah, very smooth. Oh. Mm. So and how do you? You also have paddle shifters. I've got this. Paddle shifters feels pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they feel really nice, you but use it. <laughs> I never use it. <laughs> I, I haven't really found out exactly how to use it, or in you know, I know how to use it, but in what kind of situation would it be preferable to use the paddle shift rather? Maybe than, I mean, I'm not a race driver. Or yeah, yeah. Maybe on the, the back road when you you know you can do it with the uh, gear selector yeah it's much faster here just like a race car exactly yeah but i mean it's more comfortable i guess had i been able to choose i probably would just have preferred the adaptive cruise control oh and, yeah you yeah. know they can forget about the penalty yeah. <laughs> you were trading <laughs> <laughs> anytime okay so, I, yeah it, it i mean it kind of looks cool mm. and all that yeah. but uh, i don't know it's one of the things I, I wish they had, you know, spent their energy somewhere else, mm. design-wise or mechanical or whatever. Okay. But yeah. So let's just. Tr may I try it? Sure, sure. Depends. Knock yourself so, out. Six, five, four, three. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So just like any other. Kia and Hyundai A-Speed Automatic, uh, they do good. Mm. Yeah, they shift pretty quickly too, yeah, yeah, yeah. but also yeah. it remains very smooth. So, yeah. you know, I do, I think, you know, Hyundai, nowadays not many automakers mm. make the transmission in-house. Mm. They just buy it. They buy it externally. You know, yeah. They buy the right. Hyundai Kia. But, <laughs> <laughs> Hyundai Kia makes them uh, in-house and I mm. think they, uh, you know, doing pretty yeah. good job. Yeah. Yeah. And I just don't complain, you know. It's a very smooth. It's it's not like a you know like you said. It's not a race car. It's not no, 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 no. a sports car. No, it's not a brutal fast. But you no. know it gets its job done. Oh yeah, yeah, smoothly, yeah. quietly, yeah. without any drone noise. You know some CVTs makes it drone yeah. noise, yeah. but yeah. this is very quiet. It is. Yeah, I'm impressed by it. It's it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, I I also wanted to ask you this question. Um, because a new car like Kia Optima also has a dial type. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Or button tile? How do you feel about that? You won't be able actually, to... Actually, when, when, when I first realized that, that that's actually the, the stick, <laughs> the, the dial yeah. in the K5. How, how did you feel I about thought, that? Wow, that was about time that they actually do something innovative. Mm -hmm. Change. I mean, why do you need the stick? You know, right. like, basically, it's just all electronic anyway. Yeah. So there's nothing mechanical about it. It's just because we're used to having a stick. Right. What do you need a stick for if yeah. it's not necessary? And I know it, this, it, this is also, you know, electric culture control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, they just wanted to have the stick. Yeah, yeah. They want it to look like traditional mm. gear shifter. But what do you need it for? And today, they, you know, they changed it. Now in the Hyundai, it's buttons. Yeah, buttons. And in the Optima, it, it's just a dial. Genesis you, you, is also a dial type. It's, uh -huh, okay. So, yeah. So, and I think that's just perfect, you know, it's about time, you know, think radically, change things right. to the way they actually are. I think yeah. more um, automakers will make it like that because it yields so much more room inside. Yeah, exactly. The, the shifter is, it's always in yeah. the way and oh. basically you don't need it. So yeah. why is it there? So, yeah. I'm glad. I, I, I just wanted to ask uh, because, you yeah. know, how people would, you know, people with the, uh, or, you know, ordinary gear yeah, selector yeah, yeah. would feel about it. I just wanted to yeah. know your thoughts. So but you I, like it? Yeah. I, I like it. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the K5 to get used to driving with just a knob. Yeah, and yeah. they also give you a paddle shift. And they have the paddle shifts. Well. Every car, sure. every trim, because yeah. 
you don't have <laughs> yes, yeah, there's not the, exactly yeah so very nice so yeah I think that's a I hope that in the future you will see more of those kind of changes mm. you know I mean the last thing that will go probably is the steering wheel I mean there's going to be yes. self-driving so you don't need yeah. to but it'll take a while before they actually remove it right <laughs> but that's a good place to start with it yeah, yeah. okay So, Kyle, your Kia Sportage is front-wheel driven. Yeah. Did you ever want an all-wheel drive system on your Sportage? No, not no, not really. Mm. It's kind of, you know, it's a little like the paddle shifters. Mm. For me personally, uh, I don't really see the purpose of having all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, um, honestly. Compared to, you know, you have to pay a little bit extra to get all-wheel drive. Right. And it's the kind of thing I, I just, I don't need it, really. Mm. I mean, I, when I had the BMW X5, when I realized that you, all it does is it, it uses a heck of a lot more gasoline. Yes. Yeah, they will and, take out the uh, yeah, gas you know, mileage. You don't really need it. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember one winter in Denmark where I actually... Was it snow now in Denmark? No, but it did, well, <laughs> that week, anyway. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of snow. Uh -huh. And actually, I was, you know, kind of stuck. And at that time, I was, like, really happy that I had the all wheel mm. drive. But that doesn't just, happen a lot. But it mean. really, it happened, like, <laughs> really? one time. You know, <laughs> and that one time, I can perfectly live with that. So, for me, the two-wheel drive is just perfect. It's... it's um, mm. it, Good I know, I mean, it snows quite often here in Korea, but mm. all the cities here in Korea does a very excellent job it's cleaning the snow right away. Absolutely. They're like, like Whoa. Koreans are generally very fast at anything. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> and when it comes to clearing the snow immediately... Make the car! <laughs> yeah, and yeah. yeah, so it's a car nation. And especially, yeah. you know, the streets are just cleared in no time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's actually nice. Um, yeah, it is. Why don't we just continue talking about the uh, exterior design? Yeah. Uh, some people call the uh, actually the before facelift model. Mm -hmm. uh, they used to make it fun of it, and they said uh, it looks like a blowfish. Yeah, the Do front, agree? especially. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I actually saw a blowfish once in oh. real life, but yeah, I, I don't know about blowfish, but I understand that, that it, it's very just like a balloon in the front. Right. And I personally, yeah, it, it not me, but I think that the new facelift, it looks yeah. more, slightly more aggressive sort of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, the way it is now, I, I think you're happy. It, it looks really nice. I mean, yeah. Kia calls this, uh, you know, Kia Sport is the bold, which ah. is a face facelift model. Mm -hmm. And they put like, a, you know, chrome strips here and yeah. made a few changes up front and also rear end. Mm -hmm. You know, I think uh, they really did a good job. Uh, you know, small changes added up to make a yeah. big difference. I exactly. Think. Yeah. So when and you compare it to the uh, before facelift and yeah, 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 after yeah. one, it looks really. It really looks different. almost like an all new model. Yeah. Almost. But like, yeah. still, and, and I think the combination with the the the, the wheels, the, the 19 inch mm. wings, right, and the the LED lights and everything. There is, however, one thing, mm. and this is for Kia as well, actually. I think it's it, it just looks so stupid that what? you know that you have the full LED package front, oh. front and, and tail except uh. your turn signal yeah on the tail mm. so, so the, that's the, that's the, why they the call it uh, LED combination tail lamp Probably. they never say full tail Maybe. lamp <laughs> but it's just like why why is it necessary to have like I, mm. I don't what what do you call it light bulb analog yeah, light yeah. Bulb, whatever but anyway, so it, it's uh, when when you have the the LED, it's uh, really sharp, right? Right, and then underneath it, you have the the indicator. <laughs> so I, I mean, I have the same like, question. I don't know how much it more it costs for Kia or Hyundai. Yeah, but they usually just uh, except for Genesis or very high end uh, cars, they usually have a LED combination, which means they have a burp type turn signal yeah. and burp type backup lamp. Yeah, yeah, backup as well, yeah. I don't know why, yeah. I mean, no. I don't know how much it's gonna cost them. It's no. not gonna cost them why, much, Why is it right? so difficult to change that? But they never do it. No, I don't know why. Even, and I noticed, and that's big shame on you, <laughs> even the Optima 
Right. Turn signal. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Maybe they, they try to separate the class or something, but I don't know. Come on, if it <laughs> maybe doesn't... maybe it is some sort of you know yeah design separation from one level to the next level or whatever. But it it's just. But you know, LEDs hmm. are more efficient, and you know, I'm sure it's not going to cost them like a whole bunch of money. No, 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 because they're already installing the LED. Yeah. So it's kind of. Mm. So, anyway, come so. on, Kia. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. That's a. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, but. Other than that, I think especially the the light system, the the lamps, or overall, front and rear. Yeah, I, I think they look really cool. Yeah, and, I think it looks yeah. a lot better than before. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like you know, plastic surgery. Yeah, good, absolutely. good one. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Well done. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Um, Cool. Uh, how do you like the uh, second row seats? I mean, you usually drive. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've never really tried them. It's, it's sort of. I don't want to sit there, but oh, yeah. <laughs> but from the people who've been sitting there, friends, yeah, they Family. usually don't complain. Mm. You, I mean, only about my driving, but mm. I don't care about that. <laughs> Why you driving? But uh, but I think there's pretty enough room mm -hmm. room space. Yeah. yeah, I've heard a, a few complaints from back about the seat belt. You know, oh. sorry, the seat belts that it can be slightly difficult to find out which goes where and but I you know sometimes I have to get out and actually help them to find out which one goes where uh, and also the, the one in the back the for dangling the, problem the dangling problem right I, I think that's uh, I wish they had sort of you know done something to you could click it in place yeah. or the, okay. the thing that is just dangling is kind of mm. took me a while to get used to it yeah. but you have something dangling goes like to her back yeah something uh, it always catches your eye that is flipping uh. <laughs> but other than that i think the I, I really like the function of you know if i need mm. to have some big luggage in the right. back mm. it's very simple easy to put down the seats mm. and put them back right and actually i like the fact that you can you can actually adjust recline a little bit recline oh. or, you know for the passenger that that's really comfortable very nice yeah um, so even if, if you're very, very tall, yeah. you, you know, you, you can actually put the seat back a little bit and make some... If you're tall like us, I think it's the best for everybody that we drive. Yeah, yeah, you right? just stay away from the back seat. Yeah, Who wants like, to sit I'll there drive. Anyway, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what about the trunk? Uh, you mentioned about the, 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 the what do you call it, secret compartment. Ah, right, yeah. yeah. I think that that is basically one of the features that I use a lot yep. with this car is that the underneath secret compartment in the trunk perfect for all your crap and your you know <laughs> your bottles of this and that yeah. because any car you, you always carry something you right, always right. carry a Rugs, spray bottle big, or right. ice scraper or right. whatever you know and you get you need to put it somewhere and that compartment is just perfect because yeah. when you open it it always looks nice and neat yeah no mess at all and it's just yeah i usually always put all the things in yeah below yeah. and close it and especially <laughs> during summertime you know i always like to carry a bottle of water with me when i'm mm. driving and it's a good compartment for bottles oh, of water good because it always keeps them cool and oh yeah you know, during summertime oh even. that's a good idea uh, yeah. so it's kind of yeah. insulated with a styrofoam yeah. so i mean hyundai and kia they usually make a good uh you know trunk space mm. so that's, that should be no problem. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's good. Okay. Um, so uh, this is like a, we're kind of going toward the last questions. Um, uh -huh. Is there anything uh, that you don't like about this car or anything you wish it would to be improved upon? I don't. I'm. I'm I'll be careful about improvements because mm. I think actually generally it's, it's really. Good car. Good car. Yeah. And uh, I think they got away with a lot of stuff mm. in a really good way. Yeah. Um, like we talked about earlier, the, the, the app for the, you know. The, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, English. English that, like should be, so that should be not hard. Annoying. Yeah. Because it, it, it seems like a really simple thing to fix. Yeah. Um, and we also, oh, I, I see that now. Do you, it's kind of. You notice that? It's when, because it's my, high glossy. Uh, right. Imagine you didn't have the, the sun film on, on the screen. Oh, you had that? No. Okay. Yeah. So but if it's, it's just really 
really sharp sunshine. So and that's two. Yeah. Yeah. What else? But uh, then I'm, I'm, I mean, it's just me personally, mm. but you know, I'm, I'm used to having the cruise control, oh. you know, on the left hand. Because here you have to use your right hand to adjust up and down. Uh-huh. And it, with the, I can't remember, it was the Citroen. It uh. was behind, you know, just oh, like right the shift, yeah. you know, up and down. Do, 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 do. Uh, so nice and comfortable with your left hand mm. rather than having to move. Because usually your, your right hand is doing something else or on the well, armrest. I'm, or? I'm used to this, so I mean, yeah, yeah. I've been grown up with yeah, the exactly. control I mean, it's the right just a no. personal kind of thing. But again, they got over that problem with uh-huh. the new adaptive cruise control, so you don't have to adjust up and down all the time. Okay, so, so I think that's a good one. That's, uh, anyway, but other than that, I, I mean, I'm happy with it. I, mm. I think the yeah. So you also mentioned about the dangling seat belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, and the one that uh, you that also talked about that when you put it in reverse. Actually, again, it's an, it, for me. It's an old habit uh-huh. of having the you know when you put the car in the reverse. You want the, you know your right side mirror, side mirror to tilt down. I don't understand why it's not doing that. Hold on, uh, we, I don't get it. We are coming to a red stop. Let's really? give it yeah. a try. Yeah. So when you when you put it on to reverse, yeah, it's not moving. No, it's, and I tried all sorts of things. I thought mm, it has to work, but it doesn't. It's not working. No. Come on, Kia. And that's <laughs> again. Once you get used to having that sort of, you know. Mm. It doesn't make sense to not have it. All right. You, uh, so I'm kind of gotten used to doing it manually every time, mm. and it's really annoying. <laughs> I mean, but I'm sure they can just uh, you know write again, the software. Again, it's just a software problem uh, because all the because, technique is already because there. Because you can do it's it like just that. A connection problem, right? Oh come on. So. Um, okay. Huh? So, wish they can fix that. Okay. Yeah. All right. That would be nice. So, Cole, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> so, let me just uh, read. This is uh, usually the last question. Um, uh, tell me, what is your ultimate dream car? Or, oh. or anything on your mind as next car, but... <laughs> uh, well, I thought, I, you know, I thought about it. You actually, thought about it, yeah. And I, I, I come to the conclusion that my dream car is the new K5. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> which you actually booked and ah, racing. Yeah, I so did yesterday. <laughs> must be very, very happy. <laughs> but honestly, I, I mean, I don't really mm. have a, a, a dream car per se. Mm. But I think, I mean, there are many cars I'd love to try. Yeah. Like supercars or yeah. whatever. You know, to be really. But owning them, nah, thank you. You know, mm. I think it's not for me. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, so. Yeah, I I like the the idea of getting a new car. Yeah, you know, just like kind of yeah. excites you, right? Yeah, it does. And, and you know, it, it, the the smell of a new car is it's it's always something special. Addictive, yeah. right? <laughs> so I'm kind of really looking forward to that. Yeah, <laughs> again. So yeah. like I said, uh, please uh, when you get your new car, mm-hmm. Optima, uh, try me out, <laughs> and uh, yeah. you know, call well, us so we can uh, sure. do. We'll do another another road trip. Review. Yeah, very very nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that kind of concludes our interview. Uh, so thank you, Cole, so much. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah, I had a great time. I yeah, hope you enjoyed it too. too. Yeah. So yeah, let's go uh, have some lunch. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hungry. We can have a Korean or definitely burger. Korean. Korean. Let's, let's okay. go for Korean. Okay, yeah. it's right over there. So yeah, let's try some bulgogi, I guess. Oh, yeah, sounds so. good. Yeah. So, thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, this has been our third owner's review with Cole. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And before you leave, if you love cars, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you, guys, and stay healthy. You can just hold them if you want. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Hold the mic and just. Tell us a little bit about the complaint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually, I, w- I was just thinking of one more thing uh, I want to really complain about. Yeah. And it's not just Kia, it, I think it's many manufacturers. Yeah. Even Hyundai. I don't understand, <laughs> why do they have to construct the mirror mm. as an open water container? What sort do you mean? of like, after you wash your car, uh. 
no matter how much you try to blow out the water oh. and dry it up and you know really it still keeps dripping oh, like later when on. all the way home the door is all mashed up with water all over again you and it all to... nice and buffed up yeah, of course yeah but it i don't know where does it come from it, it's just like <laughs> and also, full of know, water drops from the the rear side mirror exactly <laughs> it comes out everywhere yeah so. and then it's ah come on yeah. i mean make a hole in it or yeah. something <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dangling problem wow you can actually you actually solved my problem you can stick it in there it's <laughs> a little hole so it won't dangle wow but you're That's... selling the car <laughs> now i'm gonna sell the car and i just found out how to store it away yeah, that's just beautiful wow they, they kind well, of thought about it I guess. <laughs> yeah apparently they did yeah. yeah i just never knew wow thanks a lot no problem. <laughs> wow yeah. you ready yeah i'm ready so, let's go okay uh so i'm gonna ask you like how did you uh meet your sportage uh, so, uh, yeah, meet my my wife or my sport. <laughs> How did you get your my, my wife is gonna watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever funny thing is, we put it, cut it at the end, and then put it at the end, yeah, yeah, so yeah. your wife can see. It. So thank you, <laughs> thank you for sending your husband. Yeah, <laughs> at this, you know, you know, yeah. critical moment. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So. So what, what's the next thing we're going to talk about? So how did, you, um, how did you end up getting this car? On the video, you're very good with that. I use occupational hazard, or what you call it. So you say you're an you're, you're actor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm not. A teacher? I, I, I'm, I work as a teacher, ah. uh, as a freelance teacher. Uh -huh. And then, you know, in between that, I do some modeling acting oh, extras in drama right. tv shows that sort of thing cool yeah that, so that's pretty fun actually okay. but i never expected to do anything it's only because i'm here so it's and it's usually uh, just you know as a white monkey kind of thing uh -huh. when they need a foreigner okay yeah yeah, yeah. in the background or <laughs> as a professor or, it's hard to find <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow 18.2 kilometers per liter perfect oh, Jesus. Yeah. this guy just so that's what I'm saying. When you drive far, it's pretty easy to get it up to 19, right. 20. Uh, you know. I'm pretty surprised. Maybe it's the A-speed automate really helping out. It is definitely. Cool. Yeah. If you, if you do watch uh, our car reviews, mm -hmm. uh, this is the corner. This is where we do it. We're not going to do it today, but uh -huh. this is where we do the crazy corner. This uh -huh. this right. is the one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's kind of like a downhill, yeah. really hard corner. But it is. So. <laughs> Well, that's funny. It doesn't really look that sharp. Really, right? On the video, it looks more sort of smooth. Well, wow, it's really so. It the video really corner. makes things a little yeah. bit less <laughs> dramatic. But when you really do it, it's, it's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 